And uh, speaking of the greatest, Santa Clarita has to offer the Santa Clarita Valley Man and Woman of the Year committees. Uh, have their nominees. They've released their nominees a couple weeks ago uh, for the uh, the long-standing tradition honoring SCV's top volunteers. One of those nominees is none other than Sue Reynolds, who's on here twice. You're yeah. on here twice. Yeah. Is there anybody else that's on here twice? Uh, not this year, I don't think. Not so this that's, year. That's pretty flattering. Okay. All right. So, uh, but this time you were here last week. You yeah. were with George last week. I was with George. You're with me week. this week, and you were we're talking. You were nominated by. Boy Scouts of America. The thing is, I don't know, for those who don't know Sue Reynolds, she I don't think you sleep, right? <laughs> um, well, it's you been do little conjectured. To no sleep. Yeah, I, yeah, I I I go I go a thousand miles an hour and yeah. then I crash. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I get up at five in the morning when the Doberman has decided that I should get up and I go, 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 crash. Yeah. Man, and you just you're involved in so many things. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the history of Sue Reynolds. And Sue, I wanted to ask you. You, when did you come to the Santa Clarita Valley? You, you a decade lifer? ago. De okay. No, no, no. I, I grew up in northern Illinois, in farm okay. country Illinois, and then I lived in eastern Pennsylvania for a while, and that's when my son started Boy Scouts, was out in eastern Pennsylvania. And then I was in Tennessee for a decade and out here. Okay. When my son came out here to CalArts, we followed him like the Clampets. Okay, cool. <laughs> so he came out to CalArts. And um, had you always been involved in your community? Or was, yes. it, was it something that yes. you just learned um, when he came out here? My entire family culture is what are you doing in and around your community? And you'd better be participating. I grew up the daughter of a small businessman. Well, no, he was not small, but he was a businessman. Gotcha. Yeah. He owned and a small business. He owned a small business. Yeah, we were tractor dealers in the farm country, Illinois. And so, yes, and scouting goes all the way back to my my father, my grandfather, my brother, um, my deceased husband, all scout leaders. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, and, and okay, so you've been involved in the scouts a long, a long time. A long time. What what stuck what stuck out about because you you're involved in a ton of stuff. Like, yeah. You, but what what stuck out about this because you, I mean you have to choose because you're involved in so much you have to choose wisely what you what you participate in. Why did you decide to go with Boy Scouts? Thank you for saying that I choose wisely. I wonder yeah. if sometimes that is exactly <laughs> what I do. Um, well, again, scouting is we we are outdoors people. It it is. I, w I was a single mom for a period of time. It is an, a, a means that a family can have really wonderful activities like camping and Pinewood Derby and other things like that, where maybe the family by themselves doesn't have that kind of a resource. That's certainly the case here in Santa Cruz Valley, that, that scouting here, we have over 2,000 Boy Scouts here in this community. That's fantastic. Yeah, and, and some of these families... Uh, it, it's their means of exposing their children to experiences that would absolutely not otherwise have been available to them. And there are almost 1,500 volunteers involved in scouting here in Santa Cruz Valley. So when you think about it, that's like 1,500 volunteers for over 2,000 kids. By the way, it is boys and girls. People don't realize that. Okay, that I did it's not know Cub that. Scouts, Boy Scouts, Venture Scouts, and Explorer Scouts, and both Ventures, which is high adventure, okay. and Explorers, which is the career component of Scouts. Well, that's co-ed. That's boys and girls. There you have it. So, so yeah, the idea that um, that families can do so much with each other. One of my best friends on the planet is a Scout mom. She and I started the Cub Pack together when our kids were in first grade. And obviously, I still count her as one of my best friends now. We climbed halfway up Mount Whitney together. Nice. Only halfway. Oh. 11,000 feet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's further than I've climbed <laughs> yeah. Mount Whitney, just so you know, too. Uh, so you've been involved. You've done this a long time. So you, yeah. you, you've been. So what are the titles that you've had with? I was, I was Den Mother, okay. Cub Master, Merit Badge Counselor, Committee Member. I'm still on the committee here. Um, I'm obviously very involved in the Leaders of Character Committee here. Yes, you are. So, so I'm I'm a scout mom in all of those components of leadership. Now, it it's traditional, or at least certainly it was for our packs and troops out in Pennsylvania, that it was very mom-dominated when the kids were little. But then as the when they crossed over to Weebelos and okay. Boy Scouts, then it would tend to be the guys that were taking them camping. But all of we moms, and most of us were business people, continued as merit badge counselors and committee members anyway. So again, very, very family 
It was very cool. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. so what would you say to somebody who's thinking, you know, I want to get my kids involved in something? Uh, what, what, if they're thinking about Boy Scouts, yeah. what be would a, you say? Beascout.org will take them to how to get involved with Scouts here in the Santa Clarita Valley. You can find units. A unit is, you know, a, 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 a local. Um, we have like 90 units or almost 90 units. So there's a culture of a pack and troop for any particular interest. Uh, some troops are very camping, very outdoors oriented, whereas other packs and troops might be more um, more career, maybe, like for instance, there's some new emphasis on science, technology, engineering, and math, what we call That's STEM. Cool. Um, if you think about Pinewood Derbies that the Cubs yeah. are doing, excuse me, it's engineering. <laughs> Right, it's fun. Yeah, but it's, it's also fun, engineering. It's engineering. So, so it might be the culture of a pack might be a little more. I don't know. Let's say cerebral versus outdoorsy. Okay. Um, our particular troop was extremely. They camped, rain or shine, hot or cold, snow. <laughs> My son could tell you about camping on 15 inches of snow and. That sounds miserable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he told I'm sure he loved it. Trying to cook they tried to cook some sort of hamburger inside orange skins. And apparently it didn't cook. They were called huh. moose noses. If you know, and, and I know. Well, there you have it. Yeah. And and it didn't cook. So they had Steak tartare. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good. That's like, you know, a nice Russian dish. Right. I like that. Uh, okay, so um, you, I mean, you're involved with that. So you, you would, you would, I know you, and you would say this, but uh, if you're thinking about getting your children involved in Scouts, do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and again, uh, moms and dads, uh, it's, I like to think about how some of our more disadvantaged families here in town where maybe these kids, if they didn't have a positive way of spending their time, maybe they would choose a path of trouble. Maybe their parents, and it might be a single parent that we're talking about, you know, doesn't have, like, what am I going to do with this kid and how can I get them going better? This is where scouting can really step in and help. And um, for anybody that might consider financially supporting something like that, it costs about 300 years for the district to put a kid through scouting. Uh, so we ask for donations to maybe help these more disadvantaged families. That's an oxymoron, more disadvantaged, isn't it? Sorry <laughs> yeah. about that. Um, there are, however, there are some really incredible values, like day camp is, okay. is a summer program where kids can go and have amazing fun for very little money with all of these cool activities, uh, archery, you know, all the traditional stuff, fishing, archery, yeah. um, all the little relay races. And what kind of kid doesn't like to go be intense and roll around in the dirt and stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. Sue, Sue Reynolds, she's being nominated by for uh, Woman of the Year for by the, not only uh, Sir Optimus, is it? No, no. no. What was the other I one? Was Dem Domestic, Domestic Violence, Violence Center, Center. Yeah, of Santa Clarita. And That's I right. know them so greatly because of Sir Optimus, yes. There you go. Okay, yeah. so, you yeah. know, it's all, it's all, it's all together. It's all entertaining. Uh, but yeah. we're talking about, you You were also nominated by the Scouts of America. So, yes. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what does it mean? So, you, this is the, how many times have you been nominated now? I know two because I interviewed you last year about this. A couple times. We'll just say a couple Five? Times. Okay, five times. Okay. Yeah. So you've if been nominated I, five I, times. Yeah, but if I count that a couple of organizations have nominated me more than once. And there again, you thank you yes. for even beginning to recognize. Okay, so what what would, what do you think about the title, um, you know, the top volunteers in the Santa Cruz Valley? You're, you're nominated for being one of the top volunteers in the Santa Cruz Valley. It's wonderful to go to the reception, look around at each other and go, yep, I've worked elbow to elbow with almost all of these people. I know these people because we serve together here, there. We serve on each other's stuff. Uh, these are the volunteer heavy lifters in our community. And um, I do get pretty much up on a soapbox when I meet somebody that just doesn't volunteer in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what they do with their time, but uh, they seem to not have time to serve, and they always think that they don't have time to serve, and I'm sorry, I look at around at my co-nominees and go, well, here we are doing it. So it's pretty, pretty neat. 
Yeah. So, and uh, you have been, uh, 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 you know, our KHDS unsung hero. You are, you know, you're you're just all over the place. I see you. I, I see you at events. And I'm like, what is Sue? I, and Sue, there's Sue. You, there's Sue. What is she doing here? Shouldn't she be sleeping? That's so, what I say. Yeah. Shouldn't yeah. she be sleeping? Yeah. I, I did have somebody <laughs> say to me not too awfully long ago. I saw I saw this person at a couple different events in quick succession, and she goes. I don't want to see you again now for a few days. You're just a little bit too much of everywhere. But again, I why not be participative? I I love the idea of being present. I try to be present in my life. Fantastic. And I I certainly cannot be accused of not having fun while I'm doing it. So, <laughs> all right, Sue, thank you so much. She's a, a SCV Woman of the Year nominee. Nominees will be announced, or the winners will be announced. May 1st at the Valencia yep. Hyatt. So thank you for stopping by. Always good to see you. Kyle, you too. All right.